Hello, I'm Mark Ritter from HashiCorp. I'll be introducing the HashiCorp Vault app for Splunk. The Splunk app we're introducing as part of the Vault 1.5 release includes several sample dashboards which support DevOps and security use cases. These dashboards show our recommendations for monitoring Vault and highlight new metrics available in Vault 1.5. The summary dashboard shows top-level measurements of cluster health and usage. By default, it rolls up metrics from all Vault clusters, but it can be filtered to reflect only a single cluster. We show platform measurements and response latency, usage metrics such as the number of tokens and the number of entities, the authentication methods used to create tokens and the tokens actually being used, and the latency of storage operations. Our operations dashboard focuses more closely on Vault cluster health and performance. Operators can see metrics from all hosts, or filter to a particular set of hosts. We show request handling time, operational failures, such as times when the cluster leadership changed, memory usage, total number of leases, and lease revocation rates, and also metrics about vault replication and vault encryption. Our usage dashboard demonstrates the use of new metrics introduced in Vault 1.5 to provide information about usage and security footprint. As is usual in Splunk, all the underlying queries can be run independently and modified by the user. For example, if the user wants to see the source of data behind one of these visualizations, they can simply open the query in search and see it with all the filters they've selected. This information can be displayed for all namespaces or restricted to a selection of namespaces. Operators and security teams can identify the number of authentication tokens outstanding by namespace or by other criteria. Of particular interest is the number of tokens with sensitive policies, such as a root token. This data can be aggregated by other features besides namespace. For example, we can group by authentication method. or plot the number of tokens with a particular policy over time, such as identifying the number of root tokens and the last time that a root token was created. Other information on this dashboard so it shows the number of key value secrets per mount point, the number of leases created by secret engine mount points, the number of entities created, and the auth methods by which those entities may access vault. Finally, we provide a top contributor to of the most frequently performed operations by mount point. Another dashboard demonstrates how we can extract information from Vault's audit log. Information available this way include account of requests uh, per path, 
by role, by entity, or by IP address. We show the most common errors, and we highlight which key value operations are being performed on which paths and whether there have been any spikes in permissions problems as demonstrated here. Storage metrics shows the latency of storage operations, plotting 90th and 50th percentile lines on top of the graph. We show the number of each type of storage operation performed over time and the size of the entries being written to storage as well as a recapitulation of the host metrics relevant to storage performance. This information is available for Vault Integrated Storage. A slightly different view is available for those who are using console as their storage backend. A new feature in Vault 1.5 is resource quotas, which come with metrics indicating when the resource limit has been violated. This dashboard plots this excess usage over time and shows how close lease count quotas are to reaching their limit. We've provided a dashboard specifically for helping identify the source of high time to live tokens. For example, I've selected tokens with a time to live longer than 30 days. The dashboard uh, shows that we've created several over the past week and shows which mount points they came from. If the audit log is available, then we can drill down deeper into the specific paths that were used, the remote address from which those requests came, and the display name attached to the token, which can help identify the user. We hope that users of Vault Enterprise will find these dashboards and visualizations useful, and then the that the new metrics in Vault 1.5 will help them understand how Vault is being used in their environment. Thank you.